Are you a small YouTuber and you're trying to get those 4,000 hours of watch time so that you can get monetized? I've been there. I know how frustrating it can be. It, when you especially when you don't know what you're doing so today we're going to talk about those retention those hours and talk about how you can retain your viewer so that those hours will keep accumulating so that you can get monetized we're also going to talk a little bit about views why are they there what's the difference for those of you that don't know who i am my name is vanessa de berlay and on my channel i will teach you how to turn your passion into profit you can subscribe to my channel and get a video every Tuesday and Friday and then don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever that new video comes out let's dig in and get those watch time hours up to 4,000 so you can get monetized let's take a look at two videos that I have we're going to compare the views versus the retention and I'm going to show you why it's important for you to watch both of them but the one that you want to increase definitely is the retention over the views and you're going to find out before this video is over but let's go ahead now we're going to go into my channel we're going to go into the analytics and in the overview tab so on the left hand side select analytics and then select overview when you want to look at a, a video in this video you can see that I have gotten a thousand views over a thousand views and um, for subscribers and estimated um, income is three dollars and 21 cents now what I want you to watch though down here my retention on this video is only one minute and 16 seconds that's not very good at all I have a lot of views but people are not sticking around now I'm going to show you what to do with that information but right now I want you to look at views versus retention now that one only has a retention rate of 12 percent that is not good you want to be 40 percent or more i have another video the retention on this one is a lot higher it has about the same amount of views a couple hundred more not too many watch time is a lot higher has it has had more subscribers and it has earned 45 dollars as opposed to three dollars now only for 200 more views but what has caused that is the retention look down here people are sticking around on this video 56 percent of the video that's awesome it's more than half so what so let's talk more about audience retention and why it's so important it's one of the most important stats on your YouTube it's even more important than the view count which I just showed you your view count really only tells you how many people are finding and clicking on your video and it's not whether they are actually watching it and did you know that if you if they only watch it for 30 seconds or less it won't even count so you could have millions of people watch your video for 29 seconds and none of it will count so you definitely want to get over that hurdle minimally over that first 30 seconds audience retention refers to how much of a video a, vi a person watches and before they click away and this is very useful information to have if you know when people are leaving your video then you know what you need to work on why is it important to have retention retention is going to get your out watch hours up if you're a new youtuber and you're trying to get that 4,000 hours then you want people to stick around and it's also a plus with youtube youtube is going to look at your channel and say wow people like that video they're sticking around 50 six percent of the time we're going to start promoting that a little bit more the other one they're not sticking around too long 12 percent is not good so youtube may stop promoting that now if you look up here um, at my watch at, at my real time this one is still being viewed and YouTube search is 66 percent and suggested videos is six percent for some reason I have browse features 13 percent and external 13 percent let's go back and look at the other one that has a 12 percent retention 92 percent is YouTube search so YouTube if it's a YouTube search YouTube has nothing so much to do with the um suggesting it or promoting it or anything like that so what I need to do by looking at this it's a good topic but I might want to go in and redo this video because it, people are looking for it it's something important but for some reason within my video they're not sticking around so I'm going to show you now how you can go into the video and find out how you can figure out um, why they're dropping and what you're going to do is go in the video let's say about right here there's a huge shift um, they're dropping it, it which is around one minute and 20 seconds what I did is I went into my 
video and I found out what is going on at 1 minute and 20 seconds. I played it to find out and what I found out was I pretty much told my viewer everything they needed to know within that first minute and 20 seconds if you can believe it. But I pretty much showed them the tool that I was using and how I, how I knew um, about that topic. And this topic is how to view other channels analytics. And really it's a tool that I use and boom, the minute I shared the tool and I showed where to go to get the information, everybody dropped or most of them dropped because they didn't need any more information. Now, after that, I started showing them how to use the tool and all the features and things like that. But what I might've done instead was maybe show all the features and then say, here's how I got the information. I don't know, but that's something I could try. But that's how you know when you want to make sure those um, views, how you can increase them. Your, audi your audience retention is figured out as a percent. And I had, sh as, I, as you can see here, so when a viewer, this one only has 12%, it's 12% of the total of 10 minutes that the video was running. And as you can see, most people dropped off at the 12% mark after one minute and 20 seconds. So I did get through the 30 seconds, but I didn't keep their attention very long. So obviously there's something here that's causing people to leave. And this is what you want to find out. Why are people leaving? Why are they clicking off? Your goal, once you get through that hook in that first 30 seconds is, now I wanna keep their attention and I want them to watch my video. Now, while I showed you on this video that one of the tips that you can do to increase your audience retention is to go back and find out why they're dropping, go into that exact spot, literally take the time, go open the video, find out how you, um, started it out how you did your intro and all that why did they drop at that point and then you can go in and stop doing that on your next videos and like I said on this one I just said too much too fast now on the flip side you don't want to not say anything because another thing that you could be doing is babbling maybe your video went on for three minutes and everybody just dropped maybe you didn't say anything and that gets a, a boring too and people will just leave they want you to get on with it get on with what you're saying and say it and, and but then again if you're a little bit too fast and you don't leave any um, curiosity or a little bit more for them to stick around then you're going to lose them as well it's really um, something that you have to compare yourself to yourself and figure out what you're doing wrong and just take it one video at a time now i could sit here and compare these two videos and say well why did this one do better well first of all they're two different topics they're not even the same topic so if i were to compare myself to myself i want to compare the videos that are within the same topic and figure out why did this one, what did I do to, to keep their interest a little longer? The other video may have had, um, there may have been more interest. This one was talking about um, social media platforms, how, how to schedule your social media. Maybe that's more popular on my channel than figuring out analytics. Or again, I said it too fast. So there's tip number one, is you do wanna go in and clip it, find out what you did wrong, and then correct from there on your next video. Just stop doing that. Number two, get on with it don't bore your audience say what you have to say or make sure that they know what you're going to talk about and then talk about it don't put a lot of fluff in there tip number three make it visually engaging now right now you're watching me and we're talking but try as much as you can to put some other pictures up or maybe show some actual features on your desktop like with the analytics where i brought you into the actual analytics of my youtube because that's what i'm talking about but try to make it more engaging instead of just showing your face you can use some of the editing techniques on your computer i know some people do throughout the entire a YouTube video they'll stand even with a white wall behind them and just talk to you like this but then you'll see them moving their position um, throughout the video and they do some zoom ins and zoom outs and things like that they might use some different transitions and things like that so things that are going to change it up a little bit so that the eye isn't just watching somebody talk number four you might need to make it shorter even if your video was like that one that i showed you it was 10 minutes long and in my mind 10 minutes isn't that long but maybe the per people coming in are like i want to come in i want to get the information and i want to leave and i can remember when i first started all my videos were less than five minutes because i i did that and now i find i tend to talk more so anyway make maybe make it shorter if you find that that's happening on your longer videos then just make them shorter um, and number five is keep them hooked find a way 
Um, you might even, um, you know, have use humor, some different icons and things that can pop up and keep people's attention, but keep them hooked on the video. I know a lot of videos that I watch, sometimes they'll say, stick around to the end, I've got something for you. And you're like, okay, okay, what is it? Yeah, sometimes you get there and you're disappointed, but you did stick around, didn't you? So anyway, those are my five tips to help your audience retention. And don't be discouraged at all. Please don't be discouraged. Just take one video at a time and look at the analytics and then tell my tell yourself now when I go to make my next one these are some things that I'm going to tweak and each time you're just going to keep getting better all right thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video